Welcome back, I'm Kalani and this is World Drum Club and this is another video, a lecture, in an eight-part series on facilitation qualities. And I based this on a piece that I came up with called the Facilitator Quality Matrix that I used in developmental community music uh, training. And you can get this PDF uh, from the World Drum Club homepage or website at patreon.com slash Kalani. This lecture is about the storyteller quality or the storyteller persona or archetype, use any word you want to describe it. But the idea is that the storyteller is somebody in the group and it could be you or it could be somebody else in the group, but let's just say it's you for the sake of this lecture. The storyteller is somebody who contextualizes things, but more than that, a storyteller can be setting up expectations. They can be drawing from past experiences and bringing in some sort of lesson or value or metaphor or anecdote um, into the experience. So it can happen before an experience, it can happen during an experience, uh, and it can happen after. And it doesn't always have to be about something else, right? A storyteller can also do um, a summary of an experience. So let's say you're closing, in, your, in the closing of your experience, a, putting on that storyteller hat might look like going back and talking about what happened and, and saying, you know, when I first got here, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But then, remember when Gary, let's say his name, uh, remember when Gary started doing this and that and everyone else started getting up and running around and following? Wasn't that, wasn't that sweet? Wasn't that wonderful? You know, and, and kind of re bringing, pointing out, bringing back people's attention to some of the key moments uh, in the event and possibly deriving some sort of meaning or lesson or metaphor from that. So storyteller, of course, connects with the teacher characteristic or the teacher archetype. And I talked about that in the teacher role as uh, being somebody who can contextualize data and time and events and history and vision. Um, but the storyteller really does that exclusively, I would say. The storyteller can also be about not just the past or even the recent past, but the future. You know, storytellers um, could talk about things that are timeless or maybe talk about something that can become a vision um, that could pull us forward into the future. You know, some place we want to get to, or, uh, goals and things, but in a really descriptive, intriguing and inspiring way. So a storyteller is not just a teacher uh, or a leader um, or even a friend, you know, storyteller has a, has a special place in the overall event. Um, and I would say it's maybe a combination of a lot of the other archetypes or characteristics because it takes a little bit of leadership. Uh, it takes a little bit of wisdom and tying that in like a teacher. It takes being a little bit of an observer to understand what the right story is or what the right things are. And of course, to get the story, you have to be observing things, right? What happened, especially if you're going to be summarizing things that happen. You want to be paying attention, of course. Um, it could incorporate a little bit of being that friend because you want to bring people into the story and maybe even make the story about them. And to do that, you need to understand who they are, what their values are, um, how to support them. And that relates to friendship. You could also relate to the guardian um, in as much as, you know, you want to keep people safe. And we talked about emotional safety and intellectual safety. And so in a story, summarizing, you know, when you're summarizing something, being sensitive to, to those things as well. So I think of the storyteller as, you know, kind of like, okay, a really short way to think about it is the MC, uh, Master of Ceremonies. Often, uh, they're speaking in terms of stories or good speeches, like a good speech giver will, will talk in story form, tell you a story about something. And that's because people are intrigued by stories. Uh, we can see ourselves as the characters uh, in a story oftentimes, and there are lessons to be learned in stories. So the storyteller, you know, is the summarizer. You can summarize things. You can be a visionary. You could connect with history and culture. Uh, you can help people connect where they are now with that history and culture or 
a vision for the future. So the storyteller, again, it could look like just summarizing something, talking about future goals, talking about what happened in the past, you know, in, any and all of those things. But I would say to you, if you'd like to develop that skill, maybe take a class in storytelling uh, or figure out little, you know, short little things you can do to open a, a ceremonially, um, because I talked about master of ceremonies, right? So think about how you might, um, and it, it may be scripted at first, it may be kind of something you need to practice, but think about what you, how you might open um, an event, what you might say, what you might do, and then also closing an event, bringing um, an event to a summary, but also a feeling of closure and preparing people to, you know, re-enter the quote real world again, right? Just, we don't want to just stop and then say, okay, bye, thanks. So oftentimes um, we engage in some sort of what I would say ceremonial, or you could even use the word ritualistic um, way of bringing an event to a close or bringing, whether it's an hour education session, or for me, if it's a half hour music therapy session, or if it's a day long event or a week long retreat, um, I like to always try to try my best to bring it to some sort of closure uh, ceremonially, uh, and part of that involves embodying the, the qualities of the storyteller. And with that, I will conclude <laughs> my my story and my talk. And this is um, part of an eight part series. So if you haven't watched the other videos, uh, you could do that. Like I said, the the partner video to this one is called The Observer, which doesn't involve talking, usually. Uh, some of the other ones are leader, guardian, friend, teacher, etc. So if you haven't watched those videos, check them out if you'd like. Um, if you have anything to add, you have any resources or ideas or experiences that you'd like to share with our uh, World Drum Club community, boop, put them down below. And... Um, Subscribe, hit the bell, do all that stuff. And then if you'd like to connect with me a little bit more uh, deeply and you'd like to connect with some of the wonderful folks who support this channel, go to patreon.com slash Kalani and you can get the PDF download of this talk, uh, the summary sheet. You can get a lot of other things over there, including access to a lot of videos that are not here. But whatever you do, uh, I hope you have a good story to tell soon and that you're able to um, improve your facilitation capacity as a result of watching this series. All right, I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.